Well, for more than two decades, thousands of people have made this uh, Thanksgiving tradition. They show up at a local McDonald's for a free Thanksgiving Day breakfast. This year, though, the tradition continues of giving, but the location has changed. Yeah, and you know uh, they're going to continue to show up. The free breakfast will be hosted at the Food City at 7th Avenue and Southern. So that's where we find Kylie this morning. Kylie, we hope your Thanksgiving's off to a good start. Good morning to you. Oh, it is always off to a good start when you got to get up at 2 a.m. But when you work with wonderful co-workers like you guys, you know what? It is totally fine working today. We know that some Valley folks, you probably might be having to go to work as well. Or maybe some of you are watching thinking, hmm, I'm kind of hungry for some breakfast. Well, come on over to Food City near 7th Avenue and Southern, where they are setting up right now for a free breakfast. You can see we've got a group of volunteers here loading the tables. There's already a line. They officially start serving breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning, but I would say at about 6.30, 6.45, there's already a line of people. Now, if you're familiar with this story, for about 23 years, uh, Julian, who owns a local McDonald's, served up breakfast for years and years and years and they switched locations this year to the food city and uh, that is where we are here today as they are gearing up for the big breakfast we've got some volunteers joining us now this is clarissa and miss johnson you guys are with nfl college prep academy are you a little tired a little but it's the morning excited to be here and happy to be here so you're 16 years old if i was 16 i probably would still be sleeping right now <laughs> But you're up bright and early on your day off of school helping out. Tell me why you do that. I do it mainly for the community and because it's great to give and it's great to help. And what better day to do it than Thanksgiving, which that day is celebrated for giving. And Miss Johnson, you have a whole crew. All of these kids right here are your kids setting up the table. So this is a tradition. You guys are here every Thanksgiving morning. Every Thanksgiving morning for the last 20 years. New location, but still same same thing, same breakfast. Clarissa, what's your favorite part about being out here? My favorite part is when we get to help them and seat them and we actually get communications, with, communicate with the community and they we actually get to ask them how they're feeling or if they're enjoying it and also just giving them food is the best part. And how long are you gonna be here? I'm gonna be here till it's done. So we're over here cleaning, my hair's everywhere, but picking up trash at the very end. That is awesome. Thanks so much for giving back at such a young age. She's been doing this, she said, for five or six years. So love to see the community out here in South Phoenix coming together. If you want to come out to the breakfast, it is free. It is open to the public. It goes from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock here. But remember, Food City, new location this year, 7th Avenue and Southern. And now, now, Kylie, what are you doing for Thanksgiving today? Thanksgiving, my family's coming up. My parents are driving up actually as we speak. So we're gonna make Thanksgiving in my cozy little apartment. I think it's gonna be a little tight, but hopefully we don't <laughs> set the fire alarm off. It'll be nice to see them. And then you're going to the big ASU game tomorrow or Saturday, right? It's on Saturday, of course. I'll be cheering on the Sun Devils oh, yeah. when they beat U of A in that territorial. When they beat U of A. Ah, oh, all right. <laughs> all Thanks, right. Kylie. We'll Happy Thanksgiving.